Let's see. There it is. Stalin. What's up, everyone? This is Logan and Rich with Backcountry Life, and we're super stoked. I think Logan's the most <laughs> I'm excited. I'm so excited. He is a, uh, well, I guess Elon yeah. Musk fan. In fan, general. yeah, yeah. Fan, pro, fanboy is probably the right word. I wasn't going to say that. I wasn't going to say I, that. I know. Okay, I, know. Okay, I, don't, I don't normally say it, but it's probably <laughs> the right word. So, we, as you guys have seen, we have our cabin, and we have some, uh, we got satellite and internet up there. But we put our name on the list for Starlink, and it's been like nine months on the way. Forever. List. And we finally got it. So here it is, guys. The box was smaller than what we thought, but stay tuned. This is going to be our box opening for Starlink. I'm, I'm like excited about this, but I didn't know about it. I said, Logan, <laughs> so go for it. I get the honors of cutting this one open. I'm so excited. Logan and Plus Elon Musk. <laughs> This box is a lot smaller than I thought. I thought it'd be it's, a lot bigger. It's a lot smaller, especially since you've got the dish, you've got the stand, and then you've, I think it's 75 foot of cable. Oh, really? Yeah, I think it's got a lot of cable on it. So, there it is. You got the SpaceX logo. Obviously, it's provided by SpaceX, the rocket company. And it's it. Well, there's nothing in it. Uh... Let's just try not to break it. Yeah, let's try not to break Another it. Another nine months on the way. Yeah, that would, that would be bad. So this is the mount, or the stand, which is interesting that they, they were uh, tripods. So the beta, they were actually three-legged, so that's interesting. Unless this is, uh, so did you order anything special, like as far as mount goes? Okay, cool. So yeah, now it's got four legs instead of three. That's we got an upgraded version. <laughs> that's what it looks like. Wow. Is that the actual dish? Yeah, this is the dish. So there's some instructions on that one. It's like supposed it. to be super easy. You're supposed to be able to literally just plug this in, turn on the app on your phone, <laughs> and, uh, and away it goes. But this is your router. And I don't think it even has like ethernet or anything. Because this is power. Yeah, see that's just normal power. It's even uh, got double gasket there, so it's waterproof. Oh, nice. I guess that's meant to be outside, potentially. Yeah, look at that. Wow, so you could leave that outside. Yeah, this one, I guess you can leave this outside. <laughs> Obviously the power, you, you wanna make sure you're cured with the right power, but yeah, look at all this cable. I think the cable's the heaviest Holy spot. cow. There it is. Let's see here. We could definitely pack this to the top of a mountain if needs be. If we needed to, <laughs> hike it up there. Logan cares. I, yeah, let's throw it on the back. So that is pretty cool. Oh, so you, you get to set up your cabin Wi-Fi? No one look. <laughs> That's your screen record. <laughs> oh, there it goes. What is it doing? It's finding satellites. <laughs> so cool. We're just gonna set up password as password for now. Super secure. Well, let's be honest. Your uh, password one is the password right now. But let's That's... be honest, you'd have to drive into my uh, cabin to figure this out. So how Starlink is set up right now is it's zones. It's like hexes that are like spaced throughout the United States and they can't, they, it's a grid system and they've come online with grids. And so some areas are online, other areas aren't. And you have to like, when you register or get a device, it's registered for that specific hex. So yeah. we are pretty confident. The reason why this is not working is because we are out of that zone. zone. And yeah. so we need to take it up to the cabin and do the same thing. So we are going to go do that. Actually, Logan's not going to. I won't be there. He's got to go back to Florida. So Sam and I are going to go up and do that. Um, but real quick, so what we're currently using is we're using HughesNet up there. And HughesNet works. Something's happening. It's recalibrating. <laughs> um, so we are using HughesNet up there. And HughesNet works, but it's like 25 megabytes per second max. Yeah. Um, and so 
like when you're trying to do stuff, it, it works, but not that great. But the biggest problem is I'm paying like 70 or 80 bucks a month and I get 20 gigs. And if I go, if I want to go over that, it gets really expensive. And so it's right not now perfect. Starlink is, or yeah, it's, it's unlimited right now, but that, that could change. I, I believe is it, was it unlimited for what you did? Yeah. hundred dollars for unlimited. Yeah. Well, for the speed too. And the speed. So, because one problem is like I, we can do stuff, but like if the kids want to watch a Netflix movie at night, it's just like my data goes. No, you want to upload yeah. something? Uploading takes forever. It's, yeah, it's on maybe the two net, on yeah, the Hughes on Hughes net. Maybe two gigs up or megs. Yeah, megs. Two megs, maybe. I mean, it, it took forever trying to upload. So yeah, if we're gonna do anything work related at the cabin. There's no way. And the biggest problem was calls over the HughesNet didn't work, which satellite-based systems still have a high latency. So when you're doing a, a phone call, um, the, latency the is affected by distance. And so that's like, I say something, it takes a little, little bit longer to get there when it's a satellite versus over, you know, uh, cables run on the ground. So there's still going to be a latency issue potentially. I'm very curious to see how it was, but it was really bad with the HughesNet. And so... I'm interested to see how it turns out with uh, with Starlink. Um, so with the Starlink, as far as speed goes, as we've seen different different reports. It wildly varies uh, based off of where you're at, and you know, depending on when someone tested. I've seen as low as forty, but with HughesNet, what was it? Twenties? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Like, that's max. That's so the, you're you're not getting that. Right. Right. So with Starlink, you're looking at. You know, at the lowest that I've seen is 40, and the fastest is over 300. And that's what people are actually getting. Right. That's so. what they're actually getting. They're doing, well, they're doing speed tests. Yeah. So the, as far as speed test goes, uh, latency is low as 20 milliseconds, which would be awesome. I mean, as far as voice over IP, doing calls and stuff like that would be, should be really good. Um, with minimal downtime, I've, I've seen a couple that say maybe you know ten seconds down occasionally. So they'll drop a call every once in a while, but not not terrible. Um, and then upload speeds are around thirty ish is what I've seen, anywhere from you know ten to forty maybe, um, which isn't amazing. But again, we're talking satellites, which is well, really the, really good. Well, the crazy thing is, is I have uh, gig speed at my house. I never have never <laughs> ever gotten even close to a gig. So even though that's possible, it, unless it's like I'm the only one on the internet in my neighborhood at night, maybe like at four in the morning, um, I can yeah. get one close to one gig. I've never ever seen it. So the fact that people are actually getting 40 to 300 is huge. That's I'm crazy. actually at my house usually like 150 um, with one gig. Uh, Google Fiber. That's what you pay for, yeah. Mm, right. And that's what I pay for. So I actually think they've undersold the speed massively on this thing. 